Okay, here we have the replay, the new Prime model. And I'm gonna show you how to remove the lens on this one. You can remove the rear cap first, because we're gonna have to use the HDMI output after we're done with this to align your lens just perfect. Focus it up. So you screw off the lens top there, and this cap right here gives you access to the actual physical lens. Now you take the screwdriver and right at the very top where the power button is, there's a little tiny notch. You're just gonna pop out this little ring that surrounds the lens so you have access to it. Okay. Okay, they glued the lens in here. So what we're gonna have to do is just give it a little bit of heat. I like using a hair dryer so it doesn't heat up too much just enough to loosen the glue. About 10-15 seconds is all you really need on it. And then our needle nose pliers here are going to come into play. But what you want to do first, you want to put a little silver dot right at the top of the lens before you remove it. Because the lens right now it's mated to this specific camera. So that little silver dash we put right at 12 o'clock, now we're gonna dab the lens with a little silver dot. So if we wanna put the stock lens back in, we know exactly where this lens has to go to be in perfect focus. As long as the factory focused it perfectly from the beginning, which most likely is the case, but we've seen some GoPros where it hadn't been in focus and we had to refocus it by threading it in a little bit deeper. So the deeper you thread it, the more infinity you get. So we're gonna just give it a little bit of a turn. And that breaks the glue seal, and now we're gonna take the lens out of the camera. You wanna remember one thing, if there is a lot of glue you notice on the threads, you might wanna put a little goo gone on a Q-tip around the threads before you remove the lens, and then you wanna take the lens you want to go in and you want to go out with it. Give it a twisting motion in and out. And basically you're just cleaning up the threads in there and making it so it was brand new for other lenses to go in. So we're just going to work it in a little bit before we totally remove it. This makes putting in other lenses a lot easier. got many different lenses that'll fit this camera with the lens cap on. Some might stick out just a little too far and if that's the case what we'll need to do is we'll need to use, use an o-ring around the camera. So here to thread in the lens we're just going to go counterclockwise a little bit till we hear a little click and make sure that it's threading in properly and then we just go clockwise with it and we keep threading it in and then we use an HDMI monitor to aim it and focus it. You want to focus out to objects anywhere from 100 to 200 feet away while pointing out a window hooked up through an HDMI monitor. Now we also have a filter that sometimes comes with our lens kits depending on what you get. It drops right in the front and then you basically just put it right back on the camera here and then you've got a polarizer. Basically, you just thread the lens back on the cap, and then you're done. Okay, we're just going to twist the lens. And if you keep twisting, it gets a little bit tighter. And there it is. And then just take a little Sharpie marker and put a little dot right on the top of the lens, right on top of the camera. And that's how you mate the lens to the camera.